Almost live from the point of Saginaw and Washington streets in beautiful downtown Durant, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a biblical devotion designed to fit seamlessly into your day and help you draw closer to Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Well, hey there, boys and girls. It's Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. That's right. It's Sunday, the Lord's Day, July 7th, 2024, here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. Welcome to this episode of Cafe Devo. I'm Pastor Steve Wood, your host, hanging out here with my pal Bugsy, as he always does here in the pastor study at First Congregational Church. And I hope your Sunday is going well. Hey, just before we get started with today's devotion, we've got a birthday wish we want to send down. One of the men of our congregation is celebrating today, and so we send out best wishes to Brett Stahl. Hey, Brett, it's your birthday. All of us here at First Congregational Church love you, and we're so glad you and your family are part of our fellowship. And all together we say, Happy Happy birthday! birthday! As we've been doing for quite some time now, we return to Dr. Charles Swindoll for our devotional thought today. It's taken from his book, Good Morning, Lord, Can We Talk? The book is copyright 2018, Tyndale Momentum. Today's devotion is entitled, Walk Worthy. I've never run a marathon. I've never even wanted to. I admire those who have, and I'm always amazed at the intense training marathon runners endure before they strap on their race day shoes and head to the starting line. Interestingly, when it comes to running the marathon of faith that God has called us to run, he encourages us to begin with a walk. Hear this, therefore, I, a prisoner for serving the Lord, beg you to lead or walk a life worthy of your calling. For you have been called by God. Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowance for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. Those are Paul's words in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. Aren't you thankful that God cares so much about our spiritual condition that when he asks us to begin a process of training for the long haul, he begs us to get underway one step at a time. First step, into humility with your right foot. Then step into gentleness. Walk step by step in humility and gentleness. Good. That's it. You're starting to get it. Good job. Now let's start walking patiently. Good. One foot forward in patience. Now walk with understanding toward others. There you go. One step at a time. Humility, gentleness, patience, understanding. Now walk together step by step in the spirit. There you go. Now you're walking. Aren't you glad he didn't just say, ready, set, go. (laughs) He knows we need time. We need time to develop. We need to learn to walk in obedience, to lead a life worthy of what he's done for us. You and I have been called by God who initiated the plan of salvation and this relationship with each one of us. We have been called by Christ who implemented the plan through his sacrifice. We have been called and sealed by the Holy Spirit who has inspired and enabled the plan in each of us who have received Christ. Now he says, let it make a difference in your walk. One step at a time, walk worthy. (laughs) Isn't that a great word? Father, how we thank you for your patience and your love toward us. Thank you, Lord, that our relationship with you after salvation is represented as a walk. We do not sprint. We walk step by step, stride for stride, following you 
and making progress day by day by day. While we put a fancy word on this and call it sanctification, Lord, this is simply following you, walking in you one step at a time every day. May we keep it simple, Father, and do that, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, that's going to do it for us on this episode of Cafe Devo. Because it's Sunday, I do want to remind all of you that First Congregational Church gathers for worship every Sunday at 10 a.m. If it's not too late, not too late in the day when you click the start button, come on out and join us at the point of Saginaw on Washtenaw Street. We're saving you a seat. (laughs) For now, I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.